All right, all right, what's going on, party people? This your man Griff doing a quick video um, on Ron Notary stuff. Um, ooh, take this ad off. Yeah, I got two of them on. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, the Ron Notary stuff, remote online notary is great. Um, you can make some good money on that various different platforms out there there's a lot of videos out there that talk about the platform so i'm not going to try to go into saying which platform is better than others because i'm on a couple but i'm i primarily use dot verify so i can't speak to saying this platform is better than that one or this one is easier to use than that one because i just don't know um but i'm signed up with um dot verify i think Notary Cam, I think that was it. Notary Cam and DocuSign. Um, what else I'm signed up on? Uh, one Notary and the other one is Sign It. So I'm signed up for a couple of them. Um, I just haven't had time to really investigate or to play with trying to do it because I know how to use Dot Verify. Dot Verify works great for me, and my biggest concern in using some of these other ones is that I use one of them and then I have some glitches so I haven't had a chance to practice on them in order to get it done you know got verifies work great out of the box for me no problems now you probably say well what's some of the problems the biggest problem with all of them is who they do their knowledge who they do their um, knowledge based authentication through if they do that knowledge based authentication via what is called the KBA, knowledge based authentication, you may have some problems if it's a foreign national. Now, for Virginia notaries, a lot of people will bark back at you and say, well, Virginia accepts foreign passports. It says it in their handbook. That is true. In Virginia, you can use a foreign passport as a way to verify somebody's identity. The problem is the platform that you're using for Ron Notary may not accept U.S. or foreign passport. And in this case, Doc Verified doesn't. So, def so I've had people sort of get on me like, you don't know what you're talking about. You can use a foreign passport in Virginia. And I'm like, that's for face-to-face. -face. The platform itself dictates what, what IDs they will use. So if that platform doesn't want to use a driver's license or um, foreign passport or whatever, then you can, that's just what it is. Or a foreign driver's license, I should say, not a U.S. driver. They'll use a U.S. but not a foreign. So I'm like, it's up to them. And they're like, well, no, the handbook says this and you should be. You, I, you can't make this platform do what it can't do. Um, just like Dot Verify doesn't use military IDs, because in their opinion, as they stated in their training and in their documentation, they feel that passports are easily forged as well as military ID. I don't, you know, that's just that's their word. So when it comes to it, I don't mess with, you know, I don't do anything with if it's a foreign. I don't now. Everybody who I do a, uh, a Ron Notary with on Dot Verify, there's a video that I have that's out there on the line. ID verification. Some law firm did it. It's 100% on point, a thousand percent good, and it's a hundred. I mean, it's completely accurate. You do that. You look at that video. Everything you need to know is right there on how to get your identity verified through Dot Verify. The problem is that when people look at that video, they for some reason don't comprehend that it's saying clearly as I don't know what text, yeah. that everything that is asking for is US based. US social security number, US driver's license with a US address on it, US cell phone number. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You know, so you gotta have a driver's license, US driver's license with a US address, social security number, and a US cell phone number, mobile phone. It can't be a landline, it gotta be a mobile because you may need to take a picture of your driver's license to send to them 
if you can't do it through your um, camera on your um, computer. So it, it's specific. And people will look at that and then turn around and like, okay, yeah, I'm good to go. And you have to go back and ask them, so you have a U.S. Social Security number. A U.S. Social Security number. Well, I have a Social Security number, but is it U.S.? Well, no, nah, it's Canadian, it's this, and okay, then right then and there, it's over. You're not going to get authenticated. Or they tell you, well, we don't have any of that. Okay, so why are we trying to do this if you don't have any of that? Because you need to have that in order for us to proceed. So that's the hardest part right there. So a title company will call you, a signing company, and say, hey, can you do this run? And the run is for somebody who's a foreign citizen. All they have is a U. All they have is a visa. Visa is not accepted. Okay. So that's how, in a nutshell, the run goes. Now, when you're on other platforms, some of the other platforms, you can do whatever. Oh, also, also with um the run with dot verify, you have everybody has to have their own. Um, connection to the internet meaning you know webcam and all of that so you can't do a shared connection of verification with everybody I think notarize allows it and maybe one notary but a lot of them um, with dot verified that's not happening so you can't have three people sitting there at a computer all of them poking their head in like hey we here no, each person has to go through there and do a, a ID verification check. Each person has to log in because the whole session is recorded, you know, from front to back. I mean, you can't, you don't have to record it, but you can't always record mine. So, and at the end of the day, you really got to do your due diligence to figure out what's the deal on these platforms and how they work. Um and what the ID verification process is. And even though people will tell you, you can use the foreign passport in Virginia, the platform that we use or that you may use does not allow that. So it just it's just something that might not be able to happen. Um, that's just where it is. And, um, oh, and lastly, for those of you who's sometimes think I grift don't make mistakes I'm back at a signing that I did this morning because I didn't realize somehow when I printed the one of the documents that needed to get signed not notarized didn't need to get notarized but just signed wound up getting somehow put with my other loan packet so I'm sitting at my second signing and I look and I'm like this ain't the people and I look and I flip pages and I'm like oh man somehow that page got left on a printer and didn't get signed when I did my first one. So I'm back here at my first one to get him signed this one document and then I can go drop everything off to FedEx and um, be good to go. So that's it. But the Ron stuff is it's good. You just got to really have your stuff together and know what IDs they accept and all of that and don't get intimidated by people telling you oh no your state can you can take this type of id per your state it's not about per your state it's about what that platform will allow you to do and um and i've had many conversations with with title people and loan officers and they just don't understand um at all <laughs> you know so that's pretty much it, y'all. If you got any questions, comments, um, put them in the um, comment section. And that's about it. So after I go through him, I'm going to get on this chicken, y'all. Peace.